All right, everybody. So here we are running the Amazon Fire OS 5.0 beta on the Amazon Fire HD6. And some of y'all have been watching my videos on uh, how to do certain things with this device. And most of the time, you've got to use ADB. And a lot have didn't know how to do that. So that's why I'm making this video on how we can set up ADB on the computer. And um, the first step uh, for that is enabling ADB on the device, which would be under device options, and then long press on the serial or press the serial number three times, and you'll get developer options. Inside of developer options, just press to enable ADB. Now the other thing we're going to do is get it so you can use ADB inside of ADB sideload inside inside of sideload mode from from recovery and uh, that we will look into after we get it set up for this now what we need to do in order to get these drivers set up is first go into uh, this website um, from the developers.android.com and I'll leave this link in the script in the description and then uh, just go ahead and download that um, once it's downloaded go into the downloads folder right click on the zip file and extract the files once it's extracted um, we can go into the device manager you can get to that by just searching device manager once we're inside the device manager you'll see the device um, under other devices um, if it's installed a driver before maybe one that didn't really work or something like that it may be up in a different section like Android device or something like that and if it's in if that driver is not working just do an uninstall um, for it but if if it has a triangle and the exclamation mark um, that means it's just not installed yet so by now you should have the device plugged in and this is the device um, so now just click on the device and choose update driver now go browse my computer and then underneath choose let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer don't even worry about this it could be anything and then you just press show all devices and press have disk and here we want to just put in the location, um, the folder location of the of what we just extracted. So in the USB driver folder, just click open and OK. And here you can see it it lists a Android ADB interface, Android bootloader interface, and Android composite ADB interface. I'm just going to do Android ADB interface and choose yes and here it is installing the software and it says Windows has successfully updated your driver software so now we want to go and test it now, the best way I've found out for actually doing this um, the ADB for Windows is that you can just in install this tool minimal ADB and fastboot it just has the ADB um, binary and um, fast boot binary and whenever you click on the app it just brings you into the folder where the adb.exe and fast boot is located um, so if you just go to this um, thread on XTA um, you can just go down and choose download version 1.3.1 and it goes to a Google Drive link and it, it goes through a simple setup and it will be installed now I've already done that so uh, the next thing you can do when that is installed uh, we can use it it's called a minimal ADB and fastboot and you can see we can just open that up and here is the uh, command prompt and we are located where the um, adb.exe is so you can see the adb.exe is right here so we can use adb.exe and 
you know we can just use that just like adb so if we do adb dot exe and then devices then we can check if the driver has installed correctly and here you can see it is listing mine now for you it you you'll have to press if you go to your device when you do adb devices you'll you should see a pop up um, that is requesting authorization from this computer and you just allow it authorization and you'll be able to access adb devices and adb um, all the other commands adb um, log cat and so forth so here's logs from the device and so that is how we can get it on the normal um, interface now the next is actually getting it so um, it works in side load mode alright so the side load mode is only available in fire OS 5.0 and above which is the beta version and so in order to get to that you can do either ADB reboot um, recovery um, with the ADB that we just set up or you can have it powered down and shoot and press power and volume up at the same time and wait for it to start up and it should enter into recovery mode so here you can see we're in recovery mode and there's an option apply update from ADB and this is what actually starts activating the ADB interfaces interface for side load mode so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the computer and we're gonna get this um, the driver for ADB side load installed alright so I have the device plugged in in side load mode and if you look in the device manager you'll see it coming up as KFARWI this time so it's actually coming up as a different device when you are in side load mode so all you have to do is actually the exact same thing so just go uh, press on it go to update driver go to browse computer let me pick all devices have disk browse and just go into the location of the folder and click on the INF file and press OK and choose the Android ADB interface and choose yes and it will go ahead and install it is installed successfully and it should update it's in under Android device now now if we go into the command prompt I can show you that it is working ADB device ADB ADB devices and you can see that is the list it is listed for side load mode and that is how it should be so there you go now you can actually use um, ADB and how I've done it in all my other um, videos um, this is showing you how you can set it up in Windows and I may make a video showing how to set it up in Linux if anyone is interested or I may just go ahead and do it um, it's pretty simple in Linux so here we go that is it for this video thank you all for watching Please subscribe if you like these types of videos.